Hello everyone, today we are going to make a basic trail effect, you can apply it to any movable object or character. First we need two trail textures, you can download these textures for free on my Patreon, they are provided by Epic for free. Ok let's take a look at this material, first of all its detail settings, it's the same as the normal translucent material, select translucent, unlit, and check the two sided, then the shape of the trail. Here we still use the water normal texture to make the distort, set different speeds and directions for these two water textures, and put their blend to get the values of the R and G channels, which will make the distort richer. Of course, we can use any noise texture, just use it according to our needs. Then multiply the output value by 0.2 to reduce the intensity of the distort. If we multiply it by a higher value, such as 1, we will see that the intensity of this distort is very strong, which completely distorts the shape trail. It's obvious that not what we want, so multiply it by 0.2. Maybe set it to 0.1. OK, now we add the distort to the trail texture. Still set these two textures different speeds. So we get the trail 1 and trail 2. OK, next let's look at its opacity. Here we add trail 1 and trail 2, set different intensity for them, and use dynamic material parameters to get the exponential value of power, so that we can set the display area range of opacity in Niagara. Then multiply the output value by shape mask, a very simple shape mask, we just use different channels of text score to make it. It looks like a very basic trailing effect. Next multiply it by the alpha channel and the particle color and depth fade so we get its opacity. As for its reflection, we use its opacity part as the alpha channel of lerp, set input value A to 1, and input value B to 1.16 to get a more obvious refraction effect. OK, and its emissive color, here we still use the blend color of trail 1 and trail 2. Color trail 1 is particle color multiplied by shape trail 1. And trail 2 here we use hue shift and particle relative time to get dynamic color changes, because particle relative time is normalized value of the particle lifetime in Niagara. When the particle is birth, the output value is 0, and when the particle death, the output value is 1. So we connect the output value of particle relative time to hue shift to get dynamic color changes in Niagara. We also multiply the color of trail 2 by 0.5 here to make the blend color have layers. Finally, we add them together to get the emissive color. This is a basic trail material. Next, we will make Niagara. Use Ribbon Renderer and apply the Material Trail. Then set Life Cycle Mode to Self. As for Particle Spawn, we can add Spawn Rate or Spawn Per Unit. One is Continuous Spawn, and the other is Spawn according to the distance the particle moves. We can use either one. In the Trail Effect, we usually use Spawn Per Unit. Then in the Initialize Particle, Set lifetime to 2. Ribbon width mode directly set to 100. In the particle update, we add color, not scale color, and select curve, so that we can get the color that changes according to time, such as blue to red. Scale color set to 5. And scale alpha still uses the default template curve, this is the color setting. Next, Add a dynamic material parameter and set the power value to the curve from 0.5 to 1.5. OK, the Niagara is complete. We put it in the level. OK, we can see the trailing effect. Since we used hue shift, its color looks very good. We can apply this trail effect to characters and any movable meshes. We can also modify the size and shape of the ribbon. Now let's use an example to show it. As in the previous video, use Component Renderer and select Niagara. Here we select the Niagara trail we just created. These settings are the same. 
set spawn rate to 10. Add curl noise force to let the component move randomly, 1000 to 2000. OK we can see the effect of the trail. Of course, lifetime is also required. Or we can just disable the kill particles. Yes, it looks very good. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Bye.